Okay, students, this is how you are going to work on your SBA. All right, so just follow my instructions as best as possible. So you're gonna click on Classroom, the Google Classroom app on your phone or whichever device you're using. And it's gonna open, open your class. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to open the class, but let's say you open the class. After you open the class, you're going to click on this widget here. And when you click on it, when you click on it, you will see this window come up. When it comes up, you're going to click on this. classroom folders after clicking on classroom folders you will see this happening and it will open into google drive when it opens into google drive and what i'm telling you now is so that when you're going you will see the document as how i have it and you will be able to type in it how i want you to type in it instead of those because i got a few of them some of them when i got them you thought you had saved it but it wasn't saved so i get a blank document some of them i got some jumbo lettering and stuff some of them most of the document disappeared and i only got a little piece some of them um they came back as PDF and when it comes as a PDF, um, I can't edit it. I can only make comments and I want to be able to make changes where necessary. All right. So that's why I'm doing this. So now you're going to click on the class folder. And for this case, the class folder is 11 CM, this one. All right. So we're going to click on that. After clicking on the class folder, you will see your name coming up with the file. In this case, this is the file. You'll see a name and you will see that it's the SBA document. So you will click on it once more. When you click on it now, it's going to open. When it opens, it will open up like this. And you can go ahead now and just press the sorry let me do that again you can go ahead and you will now see this icon and you will press on it so when i press on this now i am able to edit i'm able to type and you see it comes up saying times new roman 14 and so on so if i come down here it's 12 so it's set already and you can see everything as it is supposed to be you can scroll up and whichever page on the document you want to type you just go there enter and start typing good but then here's another thing you can do you can also click on these three dots these three dots here all right when you click on those three dots, you will see this come up. When it comes up, you can click on print layout. And I'm going to go back because um, so you can see what I clicked on. When you click on it, you're now going to do this. Print layout is the first one you see. And you just press it and it turns blue and this comes up. And now you can look at each page by itself. And you can type comfortably now. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. And put your things well. This is above the. This is above where it should be. Click back my edit pencil. Uh, right. So you just, unlike what I did a while ago, make sure it's where it's supposed to be. All right, so undo and undo. All right, so here I would press enter and I would start typing. Good. Now, after I'm finished typing, I am simply going to click on 
the tick right there. When I press the tick, it will save. By just pressing the tick, it saves it. All right, so let me press it now. Now you see it says here, look what it says. All changes saved. Wonderful. And that's it. And you can close out of it. And when I open it, I will see perfectly the way it is meant to be. And so the so I'm just showing you at the, instead of opening it in the assignment where it is in Google Classroom, just follow this method. Click on class folders, open Google Classroom, click on the three lines at the top, click on class folders, and after you click on class folders and your X to come out and you're back at the front. After you click on class folders, you will look for your level CM folder and you will click on the document itself. And then you can, if you want to do it in the print layout, you go to the three dots, click on that. If you don't mind working on it the way it is there with a page break, you just click and start typing and it will come out properly. All right, so thank you very much, and I hope you understand. If you don't, just rewatch the video. If you still don't, just link me. All right, and that should take care of the problems that I'm seeing in terms of you writing and sending in your document and being able for me to get it in a way that is editable. Thank you very much.